Victor Dzmitrievich Babarika is a Belarusian banker, philanthropist, public and opposition political figure who intended to become a candidate in 2020 Belarusian presidential election. He is considered a political prisoner after having his candidacy rejected, followed by being detained by the Belarusian government over charges of illegal activities that are considered to be politically motivated. Barbarika was born on the 9th of November 1963 in Minsk. In 1981, he graduated from secondary school No. 92 of Minsk. In 1988, he graduated from the Faculty of Mechanics and Mathematics of the Belarusian State University. In 1995, the Academy of Public Administration under the aegis of the Cabinet of Ministers of the Republic of Belarus. Five years later, he finished master courses at the Belarusian State Economic University. Barbarika has been working in the banking system of Belarus since July 1995. In July 2000, he was appointed as the chairman of the management board of Belgazprom Bank. On 12 May 2020, he voluntarily resigned as chairman of the management board of Belgazprom Bank and declared his intention to participate in the 2020 Belarusian presidential election. On 19 June 2020, Barbarika was detained. The detainment is believed to be politically motivated. Amnesty International considers Barbarika, his son and several other arrested opposition figures to be prisoners of conscience. In 2008, Victor Barbarika became one of the founders of the International Children's Charity Foundation. Chans. The foundation has been providing charity support to seriously ill children. In 2018, on the initiative of Barbarika, Belgazprom Bank financed the publication of 15,000 copies of Svetlana Alexeyevich's five-volume edition and donated them to Belarusian libraries. With the support of Victor Barbarika, the original of Francis Skarner's Bible, as well as the paintings of Marc Chagall, Haim Soutin and Leon Buxt were returned to Belarus. Victor Barbarika also came up with a proposal to create an art space OK16 organizing exhibitions and theatrical performances. On 8 May 2020, the House of Representatives of the National Assembly set the presidential election in the Republic of Belarus on 9 August 2020. On 12 May, Victor Barbarika expressed the wish to run for the presidency. And on 20 May he registered the second biggest initiative group that included 8,904 persons. The size of the candidates' initiative group almost matched the size of President Alexander. Lukashenko with his 11,000s. The candidacy of Barbarika was publicly supported by Belarusian cultural figures including Nobel Prize laureate Svetlana Alexeyevich and director Andrei Kuretschik. On 17 June, philosopher Ulalimir Matiskwich, at the end of May, internet polls showed that Viktor Barbarika was ranking first with more than 50% support. In view of such results, Belarusian authorities recategorized website surveys as equivalent to national public opinion polls, which can only be conducted by institutions with a special accreditation. Electoral ratings of politicians have not been published in the country since 2016. On 31 May, Viktor Barbarika presented the Declaration of Fair Elections, according to Belarusian legislation, in order to be registered as a presidential candidate. A person has to submit 100,000 signatures in his, her support, the initiative group gathered the needed amount by the 6th of June. By the 9th of June, Barbarika broke the record of Zianong Pazniak by gathering 230,000 signatures. By the 19th of June, Barbarika's team reported 425,000 signatures gathered. On the 17th of June, the bank account of Barbarika's electoral fund in Belarus Bank was blocked. According to the election team, more than 100,000 Belarusian rubles were frozen. On 20 June, Barbarika's team submitted the whole package of documents, including the needed amount of signatures, to the Central Election Commission of Belarus. On 14 July 2020, Barbarika was denied the registration as a candidate for presidency. A number of political scientists believe that, by doing so, the chairperson of the Central Election Commission of Belarus deliberately violated the 
constitution under the direction of incumbent President Lukashenko. On 16 July, by the initiative of Viktor's Babarika team together with the team of another unregistered alternative candidate Valery Sepkalo a meeting in Babarika's team office was held with registered Alternative candidate Svetlana Sikhanuskaya, where a decision of joint presidential campaign was made. Later that day teams made an announcement on joining efforts to win presidential elections. Despite popular belief, there was no joint headquarters during the presidential campaign. Babariko's staff took over the organization of performances by candidates and trustees. Sepp Kalo's staff concentrated on informational work. And Tikhanovska's staff adapted the campaign to her audience. Key figures, Edward Barbarico, son, businessman, head of the election headquarters, detained on June 18, 2020 Maria Kalenikwa, art director of